Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel world of vfx this video is completely based on unreal engine vfx compositing like you can replace green screen inside of unreal engine so this is the output which i have created earlier and it looks pretty decent i'm not telling that it's photorealistic but yes it's good enough so let me show you uh, without camera view how it will look like so this is a very basic scene so this is in cinematic mode just made it to medium so that we can calculate all the textures easily also you can go to this lit and unlit so now you can move very clearly so this is my very basic scene and you can notice it's it's actually actually very simple so let's reset everything so go to file and new level and basic create don't save all right this is completely new blank canvas you can find out this contain browser now i have a beach scene also you can use normal hdri to create this type of scenes so for this i'm going to maps and uh, i have this beach environment just double click and don't save because i already have started this so this is a very basic beach kind of a thing you can use this all right so now i need a uh, hdri lights because there is no light in the scene if you go to this unlit to lit you can find out this completely blank so what you need to do uh, just click here and type hdri and you can find this hdri backdrop simply drag and drop and it will comes like this now i don't want to be uh, you know uh, big enough but yes for this scene i just made this to let's say 1500 and that's pretty decent all right so now we have this hdri map over here simply press this browser and i have imported few hdris earlier so what i'll do i'll just simply drag and drop into this here so the hdri is getting changed now simply click the skylight and you can find this SLS capture. Simply click this to specified cube map and you have to use same HDRI here and make sure real time capture should turned on. So whenever you change your HDRI, you have to change HDRI in both cube map and HDRI map as well. All right, the scene is created. Now let's do our compositing. So go to contain browser and right click and new folder. I'll name this to let's say test two and press OK because I have already created earlier. So now right click media and you have this all options. Now in earlier version, you have to turn on the plugin from this plugin panel, go to settings and you can find this plugins and you can type to media and you have to turn on this media compositing, media player editor and media render queue, this type of things. But now it's already turned on by default. Simply close this, right click media and you have this image media source simply click and it will come like this so just name it to test 2 and just open it once you open you can find this window and this is basically a source path for your image sequence now make sure you have to remove the green screen and render it out in png also like in transparent background from any compositing software i did it from adobe after effects and if you don't know how you can do this definitely comment down below so that I can create a dedicated video on Adobe After Effects that how you can key out your videos. So just simply select the first one and press open. So the sequence is now imported. Now frame rate, make sure you need to understand the frame rate. For this, I downloaded it in 24 FPS. So just simply click this, but I suggest uh, make sure if you shoot your video, it should be in 60 FPS. Once you do, just simply press save. So you have done the first step. Now close this and you can find this image over here. Now right click and go to media panel and you can find this media player. Simply click this. Now make sure you need to turn on this video output media texture asset. This is a very important checkbox. Simply click and press OK and type to S2 and let's say B because same name is not allowed. Now once you click, you can find this texture over here. All right. So now you can put your, uh, you know, texture in anywhere, but obviously we need a solid surface so for that go to shapes plane and this comes like this now by pressing space you can toggle between all the options this is a pretty nice option so just scale this up and i'll just rotate this in 90 degree so if you find this not rotating in snapping on your viewport simply click the snap option and now you can snap it so just snap it in 90 degree and also i'll just scale it up a little bit like this because uh, my footage is in cinematic accept ratio like 16 is to 9 all right we are good to go so now i'll just move this to somewhere here because i want the camera angle should be like from here all right so now i'll just drag and drop our texture to here so now it will come like a black screen don't worry 
go to this and create add level sequence click go to same test 2 and press save and now you can find this option go to track media track and click now simply click this plus media and media source now i have already imported test 1 test 2 now simply click this test 2 and it will automatically detect on your sequence now simply click right click properties and you can find this media texture because there is no texture is already imported but you need to detect the texture simply go to none go down you can find this previous one and this is my current one simply click and it will take a little bit of time to load and now you can find the texture over here that's actually rotated so what i'll do i'll just rotate it and here we go now if you find your footage a little bit stretched out so you can simply stretch it like this also you can scale down a bit so that it looks nice now pressing g you can hide all the selections and all the assets over here now take a new camera over here so by pressing here you can simply create a new camera and it will automatically detect like this now don't worry it will fix very soon now go to universal zoom and i'll just make it to 105 mm and just zoom out a bit and now once you zoom out you can see the black screen this is basically happened because our hdri map is not too big so what i'll do simply select the hdri and move it down a bit so now you have a lot of space over here now once you do just simply go to cine camera actor and zoom it up and you can find your proper angle so for this i'm using this camera angle and now select the camera digital dslr and now it looks really good all right so now go to crop and make sure i just want to do this in this crop now go to focus distance and go to this tracking option so basically it will helps you uh, so whenever you go your object should be in always in focus now go to tracks and i have this plane simply click and now it's in focus now i just want to rotate this to our camera view something like this slightly and the camera should be somewhere like here also just scale it up in this direction and here as well and it's looking pretty nice all right our scene is created but if you notice the scene is a little bit dull so what you need to do you need to add some lights over here so what i'll do go to windows environmental lights and mix up and here i want to create sky atmosphere and also i need a height fog and now i need a directional light so what i'll do i'll just simply click here go to light and directional light now once you move the directional light you can actually see the impact of this directional light to our character and now let's rotate the hdri backdrop because it's not adjusting the light with our scene so from here if you want to rotate it will not work so what i'll do go out from a camera view and now i'll just simply select this in a camera actor and it will snap over here and i'll just pin it so now you can see always your camera view right from here and now simply select the hdri and now let's rotate this so what i'll do i'll just rotate the hdri so that it will match with our scene so for now this this angle is pretty decent also i just want to rotate the plane of our lady so that if you rotate the lady you can see the lights are getting changed so because our light is hitting from back side so that's why it's all normal so now let's press ctrl l and now let's rotate the directional light so that it will match with our scene and now once you're happy you can simply animate your camera and you can see our character is moving in front of you and yes after that render it out and here is your final reveal so guys that's it for today hopefully you enjoyed this video if you like this video then definitely subscribe to our channel world of vfx thank you so much see you soon in my next video till then bye bye